Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see me. Reaches out to you for 30 million. So somebody reaches out to you for 30 million streams. What would you tell them? How many? How much money? So I was actually promised um, so cuts as well. So I was promised payments after, but up front, I was promised 5K. Okay. They told me it was for a big artist. Promised 5K up front. Okay. They sent they uh, sent me 2.5K. And then I was but also promised early on when the song first dropped, it, I, it wasn't him. I'm not going to say he reached out to me himself because obviously he didn't. It was definitely somebody from management. They Did wanted me to do who? 30 million early, which fed into the rest of the views because obviously it was going to be a hit song either way. I like the song. You want I'm not personally getting back on here trying to have or rehash conversations of the battle. By the way, the whole thing with the with the uh, person who was, um, y'all want to know the truth? I won't call the name. I'll, I'll tell you the truth, though. The dude who came on to expose Kendrick had nothing to do with Drake. That person got referred to me by people who worked with Kendrick. 100% fact, hand, like, I don't swear to nothing, but trust me. The, those people who put me on with that guy, I, I, I talked to all parties. They said, please don't mention our name because we do good business with Kendrick. We don't want no problems. I said, I will make sure. I said, that guy won't say y'all name and I won't say y'all name. How many options you really got? I mean, there's too many options. Been a pass on this body, yo. Say. Certified boogie man. Walk you down whole time. I know it. Man. Hey, man. It's your boy, man. ECO, I'm just checking in, checking the business at hand, man. It's going down one again. It's going down because, man, my boy Academics, he, you know, I was watching this a couple of nights ago because this actually came out a couple of nights ago, but it, it, it was rumored about, you know, some bots being used. And you know how it is in these beefs. It, you start slanging, slanging things this way, slanging things that way. Next thing you know, everybody's upset. Hey, man, listen. People don't want to lose their credibility, but man, Drake, like I said, Drake hard, man. I just don't know, you know, the battle was cool. I just don't know if it went in his favor when it come down to his consistency. And he, I, be, I mean, man, Kendrick a dog, man, when it come down to lyrics. And I always say, man, even back when Flip and T.I. went at it, don't stoop to nobody's level. Play your game the way you play your game. Make jamming hits. Don't try to go there. Don't try to get too much into a person's uh, what they doing. Do what you do and do it at the highest level you do it at when you're dealing with beef. And we, I think he did that when he dealt with Meek Mill. But on this one, he tried to he, he trying to do too much. He, he leaning over. He jams, but you, you got to watch how you lean over in somebody else's lane because Kendrick definitely going to bow rap. And that day not like us, when I play that, man, listen. He calling names. And what I'm saying, see, you got to, this, this, this is, these are shots being fired in the craziest way. But we see that Drake comes out and tweets, he throws a tweet out about bots. And when he does this, it's, it's definitely going to make people think, okay, he trying to say that the numbers was being played with. And, hey, I'm just telling you, man, you've seen the stadium. You've seen the, the way this guy's campaigning this. Boy, I could do a whole tour on this. And I was talking to somebody earlier, and they was like, you know, he could do a We Are The World like Michael did back in the days, the way he bringing the people together right now. Because I've been asking for that. Like, we need somebody to bring everybody together, not just Compton, not just, you know, we need a whole togetherness in the U.S. right now, especially for our culture, man. We could use it. So I know y'all ain't trying to hear that because all y'all got your glizzies and your sticks and you out here trying to make sure you, you know, you, you keep this whole aura going or I'll, I'll do it to you. Somebody can get it. You know, y'all on that, 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 that whole beef. Y'all watching the, uh, yeah, uh, the, the, the Fulio and all this other stuff is going on. But I'm telling you right now, Kendrick is at a level where he could put together a whole campaign to bring a togetherness that we need, man. But what y'all think about uh, Drake? I'm, well, let me, first of all, let me tap in. Reality TV, she got to be here on the line. Reality TV, you in the building? 
I'm here. I'm here. Man, I, I know I know you've been checking out what's going on. So I think Drake is throwing a plot out, plight out there to say, man, you know, some bots being used and fake views going on. He's just not trying to hear it, bro. And, and, and at the end of the day, I'm listening at that song. They not like up. Dun, 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 dun. They campaigning the hell out of it. I, I, they didn't call me. You know, you listen to a song a few times because I'm with Drake. And then all of a sudden you hear this song and Kendrick got me, you know, now he done pulled me over here. So that's how battle be. You with both of them. I like both of them anyway. But boy, that, that song, they not like us. They not, man, that thing, man, that thing. He can't be working that thing. Whatever happened to just a good rap battle, like, whatever happened to that, like, people taking it out of context and what is, I don't, I never knew Drake was a gangster, uh, street, I, so I know who that did. What you mean? You didn't know, you ain't see him over there with Jay Prince and all them boys and they doing their thing? That don't mean that he in the streets. Well, you watching Nickelodeon, you seen him on Nickelodeon. The grassy. I remember him from the grassy. Yeah, the grassy. He was in a wheelchair. Oh, okay, okay, I get it. So, what you think about this? Do you think that that Kendrick was buying views like academic DJ Academics was kind of uh, was a, a investigating and alluding to? There's no the people love this song. I, I think DJ Academics loved Drake, and I, you got it. He loved him, and he 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 loves some Drake, and and a lot of people do. And that's okay to be a fan, have your uh, picks, but I mean. We know um, they not like us is a hit, for sure. My grandmama liked this song. Oh, your grantee, she own it, huh? She loves. Any time they play this, she jump up. Cause she they must on the beat. Just make sure you hide your little sister. Man. <laughs> make sure you hide your little sister from him and all that. It got rough, man. But he at his pop out uh, concert or whatever he did. When I say everybody was there, everybody from LeBron James to Northwest. Now, what what, what the hell Northwest doing there? Now, I thought she was a Drake fan. Yeah, she's young. She switched sides. They'll switch up. They switch up. They switch up on you in a heartbeat, man. But what do you think about Drake and this 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 bot alleged that he's saying that they, he bought a lot of these views? I think. Do you think people be buying these views like that? I, I, they, they do. They, a lot of I've actually seen where they had like phones set up in a room, you know. Straight. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so I think that that does go on, but for the most part, I think they do it to get it started. But when it actually, you know, people get caught on, because I feel like they already have they. Uh, picks and chooses who they want to put out there anyway. So, I mean, because there's a lot of talented people out here, but they pick who they want to put out here, I feel like. Wow. Man, hey, listen, man, make sure you guys, hey, thank you, Reality TV. Make sure you guys get into the uh, comments. Let us know, do you feel like Kendrick bought these uh, um, these views, these, these streams? Uh, did he pluff this thing up or what or is this just drake being a sore loser and this is his last hoorah to say man don't count me out he did me wrong what I, you know let us know what you think man in the hey listen get in them comments make sure you join our membership too we're gonna keep bringing this hot fire man boss talk 101 checking it man what a boss is talk Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see.